Ladies and gents, this is the final part of VX Mother Fudging Valor with me and Killer4716! Woot. Now, we have skipped forward a little bit more, and I have successfully destroyed Bob with my Mahusive army of Chopper VXs. And it's going to be a little bit harder to take out Jeff. Just a little bit harder. But yeah, again, we are taking down his Vindicators now, so everything's good. Killer's got his Jet Tengus there for defensive purposes. And he's doing a very good job. Now those are my chopper VXs. Look at them in the army formation. And now we've got even more coming out. This is the ultimate chopper VX spam. But chopper... But VX Valor makes it sound better. So... Yeah. But well, you know what I mean. Anyway. Jeff. He has everything at the moment. He has cryocopters. He has Apollo fighters. He has... Yeah, cryocopters and Apollo fighters. He even has power plants on the sea. He's got a lot of crap. And those cryocopters are going down like Grandma Norris's pants on a Tuesday morning. Ew. Okay, let's get off of that. Ah, now we see Killer4716 with his mighty Shogun battleships. Hmm, could this be a repeat of what he was doing in the Shogun Rush? Maybe. I don't know. I have more VXs. What could this possibly mean? More awesome. And oh no, Jeff is bringing in a Riptide. This could be the end of Killer's Shogun spamming sheet secretness. And the Riptide is slightly going out of the map and is getting bombarded by Shoguns. Bam 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 Boom! Don't want to stay still when you're against Shoguns. Otherwise they will utterly kill you. Let's have a look at Killer. He's also making VXs. Which are going to turn into choppers. So he's going to use the combination of Jet Tengus. Obviously Chopper VXs. And Shogun Battleships. Very nice. And what's this? Balloon Bomb Barrage. I see balloon bombs coming from the sky to try and get rid of Jeff's Proton Collider. But can it do it? As you see the bomb slowly dropping. Boom. No, still not enough yet. Just when it boom. No, not quite. The only stupid thing is about the balloon bomb barrage. If you have base defenses around. Or. Multi-gunner IFVs around. They will attack the balloon bombs. And there goes proton collider. They will attack the balloon bombs. But. In the end of the day, they're, they're just making the balloon bombs drop faster. It's like attacking a flipping time bomb. It's only gonna make it go off faster. And as you see, Shogun battleships have found Jeff's MCV that has gone out into the sea. He's not hiding any longer as the battleships are locked on. Boom! And. Skadoosh. Any minute. Yeah, there you go. MCV annihilated. But what's this? Cryocopters? Oh no! Lost a Riptide, which is getting absolutely battered by those top of the X's. Nicely done. Those cryocopters are going to be a nuisance. And there comes the Jet Tengus. Jet Tengus immediately attacking the cryocopters, one after another. The only problem is, if you have a cryocopter over a Shogun battleship, for example, and you take it down, the cryocopter will fall onto the frozen um, Shogun battleship and will actually destroy it. So be careful if you're attacking cryocopters. Just make sure they're not quite over um, your units if they are fu fully frozen. And Chopper VXs win the day again. And Jeff, oh no, he has IFVs and an Apollo fire over there. He's ready for him. Or is he? And speaking of choppers, look at all these bad mamma jammers coming in. There's about, I don't even know how many I had at this moment in time. I was, I was just amazed. This looked like a full-on Empire of the Rising Sun invasion force from the air. It looked so epic, I just had to go into epic mode. Just look at them fly over as fast as they possibly can. 
they see an oil deck and they're just like, right, you're getting no more economy out of this. Boom! Taken out like nothing. Ah, oh, yeah. Just remember, if you're thinking of doing a strat like this, you need to have the advanced rocket pods upgrade. Once you have that upgrade, you're absolutely set. So be careful. Now, as you can see right here, Killer Forty Seven Sixteen attacking that Riptide with his mighty Shogun battleships, and is also attacking from the sea into there. But as you can see, my Chopper VXs are being absolutely dominant in taking out a Peacekeeper with his shield up. Oh my yeah! And as you can see, another Peacekeeper goes down, and also Killer's, Killer's base defenses comes into play. And oh no, two IFEs. What am I going to do? Of course, I'm going to absolutely destroy them with my mighty Air Force of. No, come on, I mean, come on, that must be like 18. 18, like, chopper VXs. You don't even need that many, but it looks so awesome when you just see a massive horde of them coming at you. Speaking of horde, look at those Shogun battleships taking out that garrison building like it was just, well, a slice of bread. Or something easily destroyed, slashed, cut, slashed. Um. Or slashed. Uh, I don't know. Some, some, something that's easily destroyable, okay? And I'm not talking about that, uh... Like, re-repairable plastic shit either. That's just, that's just rubbish. Anyway, the Chopper VXs are flying in to the enemy base. They're in formation, but they're not gonna move. And Apollo Fighter comes in, and I'm like, oh my god. What am I gonna do? He's good against my air forces. There's only one thing to do. Transform! Boom! Apollo fire. Outmatched. Aw, oh, yeah. That's why I love the Empire. You can just change it any minute and there's like... Shit, man, that ain't right! <laughs> Lol. As you can see, both Shogun battleships are tearing apart this man called Jeff, if he is a man. Showguns are utterly poning, utterly shooting, and utterly doing nothing like that. Some strange utter region. Come on, oh, the showguns pwn again. Uh, bam, 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 bam. There's one fault with um, the long range artillery units on the sea. The fault is that, um, one, they take a while to charge up, and two, they aren't very good at hitting moving targets but if you can back them up with the correct unit for the correct situation then you should be fine. Killer did the correct choice by backing up his showguns with chopper VXs and also backing them up with uh, whatchamacallit anyway as you can see oh no Jeff's sending out a bit he's sending a couple of his power plants and I think it's, that's going to go straight towards that dock, thinking of making an MCV. Oh no, Killer's attacking the Peacekeeper. Oh no. Oh, he even sold his war factory. Oh no. I think Jeff is officially fudged. Speaking of fudged, my VX is still over there for some strange reason. And uh, uh, oh! Sonic Psionic Decimator, which completely misses. Thank you, Killer, but it looks snazzy when it explodes. Aw, oh, yeah. Epic mode explosion. Lovely. Now that's how you make a Psionic Decimation. And then you deceive that power plant. Bang -a dang -a dang -a dang dang Game over. Aw, oh, yeah. Another win for the Exploders. Woo! So guys, uh, thank you very much for tuning in. This has been VX Valor with me and Killer4716. Next time, I will bring to you the world premiere of the first ever Red Alert 3 epic battle. So until then, my homies, goodbye fellow strategists, good fudging, bye.
This strat is dedicated to Killer4716. Happy birthday, Killer. Oh yeah!